Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA, H for destroying my cousin's marriage. My family is a little unusual. There are three adults and two children. The adults are me, my wife, and another woman best described as my wife's platonic life partner, and also my very dear friend. I'll call my partner Sally. Sally has lived with us for 20 years. The kids call her Ma. We live in a four bedroom house, and Sally and the kids each have their own bedrooms. Sally is aromantic and asexual. She and my wife love each other very much, but platonically. Sally is like a sister to me, I cannot overstate how incredibly platonic her relationships with both of us have always been. We're all very happy together. I've been super glad we have her since we had the kids parenting is so much easier when you have a numbers advantage. My cousin Dave has been married to his wife Mary for something like 15 years. They have two kids. Dave talked Mary into opening the relationship about a year ago and now they're getting divorced because he's struggling to find anyone willing to date him. Mary isn't and he's incredibly pissy about it and it's destroying their relationship. And by it's, I kinda mean he's. He's jealous and resentful and making that her problem. And also, now mine, because he says it's my fault. According to him, he thought it would totally work great because my family make polygamy and open relationships look easy. Which? What? Setting aside that Sally's relationships with both my wife and me are platonic, there's no open relationship in our household. Sally and I each get a weekly date night with my wife. I take the kids on her night and she takes them on mine I did say parenting is easier with the numbers advantage, I think my wife and I would have significantly more quality time together than we would have if it had just been the two of us, when the kids can't sleep, they go to Sally, so my wife and I are never disturbed after we go to bat, sometimes Sally and I go to games together and my wife takes the kids then because she's not into sports. No one is dating anyone from outside our house. These are committed relationships that are to all intents and purposes, exclusive. None of us has ever mentioned seeing anyone else. Even if we were witch again, we're not I don't see how that would make me responsible for him treating Mary terribly because he's jealous. Somehow, he was apparently convinced that he and his beer gut would get all the girls, but no man would be interested in a charming kind woman who keeps herself in reasonable shape and bakes the best cupcakes you will ever taste. I'd have dismissed this out of hand, but my aunt, his mother, and like six other family members agree that I'm the ah and have been insisting I should apologize to my idiot cousin and help him talk Mary into closing the relationship and staying with him. I like Mary. We've been friends for 20 years and she's a good person. Also friends with my wife and Sally a W, a wonderful aunt to my kids. Given the choice between her and Dave, I keep Mary and her kids in the family. Someone in my family is insane here. Is it me or them? Who's the ah? TL, TR, my cousin Dave persuaded his wife Mary to open their relationship, and now he's pissed she's dating, and he isn't, he was blaming me, because he claims my extremely closed relationship situation made open relationships look easy, just because there's a third adult in my family, a bunch of other people, were hassling me to take the blame. So far, so stupid right? Turns out that, unbeknownst to me, Dave's sister, Tina, reads the sub. A lot. She saw my post and immediately figured out that it was me posting about her brother. She won't tell me if she was one of the commenters or not, but for those of you who called Dave the golden child, Tina says you were right on the money. She called me this morning. And like she seemed to find that really validating, and I have literally never heard her sound so happy. She's usually pretty depressed, so thanks, everyone who decided to read into their family dynamics, you did her a solid. That was about 8am. I had to get off the phone to head to work. And then at about 10, I got a text from my wife that just said come home now. I got another one just as I was starting the car that said the kids are fine, which I really appreciate because that at least let me change gears from panic to concern. At some point, we might discuss that. It would be good to include that in the first text. Anyway, that is not the point. I got home as fast as I safely could. I pulled up on the verge and tried to go in the front door, but the handle was handles broken. Mary's car was parked in the driveway. I had to go in through the garage. Inside there was my wife, Mary and Mary's eldest, Jack M12. Mary was banging around the kitchen and Jack was crying on my wife. As I understand it, what happened was. Just before she called me, Tina texted her brother a link to the post and made some kind of comment about it. I don't know what exactly she said, but Dave went into a rage. 
Like the kind I thought he grew out of when we were teenagers, breaking shit and screaming. I thought the last time he did it was the time he hit my little brother, and I beat the shit out of him. I'm not saying it was right, but we were kids, I'm also not saying I'm sorry, to be honest. And then he hit Mary. She's got a bruise coming up on her face. Fuck, I'm shaking writing this. I feel like it's my fault. I can't remember if we told her that he used to be like that. We honestly thought he'd grown out of it. Mary managed to get the kids in the car and drove straight to our place because she knew there'd be someone home. Salas, a stay-at-home mother, and my wife works from home some days, and there's just generally someone home. Dave followed and tried to force his way in. Apparently, my expensive security door was worth the money because he managed to damage the handle, but the door stayed closed. Seems he gave up and ran when my wife yelled that I was on my way home. Jack burst into tears while he and I were moving furniture, so we talked and hugged for a bit, and now he's having a lie down in my bed because he was kinda run out. We're waiting for a locksmith to fix the door as well. After that, we're going to take him and Mary to the police station to make a report, give statements, and do whatever's involved in all that. Sally took our kids and Mary's youngest to my parents' place in case Dave came back, they're too young for this shit, but Jack refused to leave his mother. We're going to meet up with them after the police station. Those of you who said we should adopt Mary are getting their wish, at least for now. Jack's going to be sleeping in my youngest's big boy bed. The kidlet gets to stay in his cot and sleep in Sally's room for a bit, and Mary's youngest and my eldest will be sharing a room because they're only a few months apart, and they get on well. Mary's sleeping on our couch until we get all this figured out. My youngest will probably think this is the best day ever. He hates his big boy bed, and he's going to get a reprieve from the transition, Plus, he gets to share a room with his ma, and there are cupcakes in the house because Mary stress bakes, and our kitchen counter is covered in cupcakes. I should add that according to Tina, Dave was telling his family that I talked him into the open marriage thing specifically because I wanted to sleep with Mary. Plus a bunch of other shit that I've honestly forgotten, it's been an absolute shit of a day, and it's only half past two. I'm pretty sure I just acquired a 12-year-old son 10 years early and seriously messed up, at least for a while, and I have to figure out how I'm going to fit Jack's needs into my life without neglecting my own kids. I can't even tell if I'm exaggerating. Jack's a wreck, and maybe those please be my dad now vibes are temporary, but maybe they're not, you know? Gonna end this now before I start rambling. Or keep rambling, I don't even know. Thanks everyone for all of your input. Don't be mad at Tina, I don't think there's any way she could have predicted Dave would lose his mind. First of all, update on events for the people who were concerned. Mary and the kids will not be staying with us, as charming an idea as that is. This weekend, her brother will be coming to pick them up, and they'll be going to live with Mary's parents for now. They live about six hours out of town, so it's not an easy drop-off. We're looking for a counselor for Jack, who does telehealth because there aren't really any in her parents' small town. I don't know what's happening with the legal stuff. It's only been a couple of days. I'm not sure anyone entirely knows. I got a few general themes in the comments slash DMs, so I'm going to make some collective replies. Those of you who were worried about Mary and the kids, thank you. Hopefully, they'll be okay. Her family is rallying around, and my wife and I are all taking her side. Those of you who thought this was all fake, okay? Not sure what you want me to do with that. The person who kept spamming me with, hi Liz, how did you not realize you had the wrong username for over 24 hours? What the hell? Those of you who thought the story was unrealistic, because I was too heroic throughout hot damn, thank you for noticing what a goddamn hero I am. What was your favorite part of all my heroics? The part where I was a shithead teenager with anger issues, the part where I got a text message and came home after all the drama was over. Or the part where a traumatized child burst into tears and I panicked so badly I thought it meant I had to be his dad now. When they make the movie, I want Hugh Jackman to play me. The people posting their harem slash sister wives fantasy shit. You're as bad as Dave, but I'll allow that you spell better. If you can't even imagine the possibility that a man could have friends who are women, he doesn't fuck yours your problem. If you can't imagine that, even when one of the women involved is aromantic and asexual, you might be a problem. The people who were concerned I was endangering Mary and the kids by putting it in a post that Dave might see that they were in my house where he already knew they were, since he already knew, I don't think so. Thank you to all the people who have been kind and sympathetic. You don't deserve all the sarcasm in this post and it's not directed at you. You're all lovely. I'm just tired. 